Hello and welcome to Travel with Tay. Today we're going to talk about how you can travel as light as possible. So I'm leaving in two days to go on a six month tour around Southeast Asia and a bit of Asia itself. So I want to take the minimal amount of clothes, the things that I need on my back. Let me begin by showing you what I'm going to have on my front pack. This is going to be my front pack and my carry on. This is a Black Wolf Bag Explorer 35. I've had this for about four years now. Everything works smooth. It is beautiful. Uh, it has a lot of, lot of storage. The zips are still as smooth as a baby's bum. Everything works really quite well. So in this bag, what I'm gonna be carrying are my valuables, like my passport, my laptop, my cameras, and all that jazz. Money, which I don't have, but we'll, we'll, we'll make do somehow. This is an essential part of your travels. This is a travel adapter, which can be used in most countries. I buy it off eBay for maybe five to 10 Australian dollars, which is probably like five US cents right now. This is your travel belt. You can put this around your waist, along with your tinfoil hat, whatever you prefer. I will probably just carry it in my bag, in my backpack. All in all, we're not gonna talk about this today, but if I lose this, I am We're going to talk about what we need to take on our back. So let's get to what we're going to need on our travels. Someone gave me the best advice years ago, which I've been living by when I'm packing and traveling. And that advice was when you finish packing everything you need in your bag, take out half. Because you're not going to need it. A lot of people will travel around, maybe they're going to Hawaii for a week or Hong Kong for five days. And they take about five suitcases and their miniature poodles. Unless you're some Kim Kardashian and beautiful changing five dresses a day, you don't need that. And you're here today to know what we need to travel light. So in front of me is all that I'm going to be taking on my back. So let me show you what we've got going on. So I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and I've seen a lot of people packing up their clothes in vacuum seal packs. I mean, that's a great idea, but then you've got to carry it down with a vacuum around with you. And once you start living out of vacuum sealed packs, you become one of those weird guys who live out of vacuum sealed packs. Now, I'm not too fussed about that. I'm going to put everything I need in here. Sure, the vacuum sealed pack will make your clothes waterproof, which is a big deal because I'm going to Southeast Asia right now and it is wet season. But what I have here is my rain cover. All right, you can buy this. On online as well. I bought it for 50 Australian dollars. Yet again, for USD. This is great. So this is what, what I'm going to be putting on my bag. My lovely cousin and his wife have bought me this. This is a cooling scarf. So especially when I'm sweating over there and I'm trying to pick up ladies and all they can smell is the uh, high night chicken I've had last night. This will help me and I can wrap this around my head, my wrist and look like one of those, you know, hipster cool travelers. The whole point here is to take the minimal because you're going to be lugging this huge backpack around. You're going to be holding it at airport lines for hours while you move at one kilometer per five hours. So I've kept it to the bare minimum. Now you can take more than this. You know, it's all each to our own, but today you're here to see what I can travel with. So since I'm first starting off in hot, humid countries, I'm not going to take any jumpers, big, heavy coats. Right now I'm in Australia. It's winter. It's bloody cold, it's like 6 degrees Celsius, Fahrenheit, I don't even know what that is, maybe it's like minus 500, but it is cold here, I know people are like, oh yeah, Australia doesn't really get too cold, and it doesn't get too cold, but we don't have freaking infrastructure to make us warm, so we're out here like freezing our nuts off. When I go there, I'm going to have this jumper, what I have in my back, and I have my shoes, and everything else I'm going to take. So I have my singlets, I've probably got about four singlets there because people just wear singlets in Southeast Asia. It's like a, a given. Um, you, you, once you go past Singapore and Malaysia and you enter into Thailand, it's just Singapore shorts and thongs. So thong, 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 thong. Da, 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 da. Uh, we call them thongs in Australia. You may call them flip flops, whatever you like. Maybe they call them thongs because, uh, I don't know. Then you have your undies. I have my undies. I'm gonna take four. I like I like four, you know. Know that when you're traveling, I'm gonna go hostel to hostel, backpack. You can wash your clothes everywhere. You can buy all the things that you need 
over where you are. Unless you're staying in expensive hotels where they mark up the price 400, 500%, you don't want to take too much. You can buy everything you need over there. So I'm thinking about four undies. This is my colorful bonds. I don't know if this is an Australian brand. Let me tell you, you can wear the crap out of your undies, quite literally. So when you're traveling, you can wear this front, back, inside out, and around again to the back. Sure, you may have a bit of skid marks here, in the front, in the back, somewhere that doesn't belong, but that's the whole fun of backpacking. I'm taking, I'm taking two shorts, bare minimum. Um, I'm taking my boardies or swimwear. And I, so, so, some, uh, some people like sleeping in the nude, I can't do that. So I'm taking some shorts. I don't want to freak out everyone in the hostel. And I've got four pairs of undies. I don't know why they call them pairs. Is everything called pairs? Four, four rolls of, four, four socklets. Anyway, I'm taking about four t-shirts, nice, Grey, black, white. I'm very neutral, I have no fashion sense, and I'm pretty happy about it. Taking my belt, pair of trousers, and my toiletries. So you've got your toothbrush, your shaver, your toothpaste, basics. You can buy everything there again. So one thing I want to tell you guys is take your medication. Medication can be expensive. Unless you know the language of the country or the name of the medicine exactly, you're better off taking it. So I have asthma, I'm gonna take two of my Ventolins, and they'll probably open my lungs up after I inhale all that smoke from the full moon parties. All right, so let's start packing up. As we've seen on my previous video, we've seen the Osprey 5.70, but the whole point is to keep the bag light so you can put more, buy souvenirs, buy presents for your wife, your kids, your dog, your neighbor, Jimmy Fallon. All right, so. Hopefully I'll find some cool music for me to fast forward this. Yeah. So once you're wearing this bag, this packs, everything's sort of gonna fall down to the bottom here. So put all your, your things that will smash up the top so they're quite safe. Back to it. Okay, so we're done. That was pretty fast, right? Everything's packed, the lights, we have no problem carrying. So there we have it, we're packed and ready to go. Join me on my adventures soon as I fly out to Southeast Asia. If you like this video, feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Alright, I'll see you there. Bye bye.